time. Let's move forward. No problem, bro. No problem. Uh, coming up next, let's look at the return of the Jumptown Wars, also coming in Alpha 316. When Jumptown 2 activates, there are now three drug labs where this event can happen. Jumptown, Raven's Roost, and Paradise Cove to create a much more engaging, persistent universe. What is Jumptown 2.0? It's the event that we're putting out that is the officialization of a community uh, event that happened uh, a few years ago where due to a bug, um, a location became immensely profitable that was also very conducive to uh, player versus player uh, combat. We are now taking that um, concept and turning it into a much more developed mission that we are officially supporting. When Jumptown 2 activates, a mission will be distributed out to players. This mission comes in two varieties. One is uh, the criminal side and one is the lawful side. If you are actively having a crime stat, you will see a notification popping up letting you know that Rudo has contacted you and he wants to sell you some information on a really lucrative drug opportunity. The big thing here is that when you go and collect these for Rudo, you will take those drugs and sell them at Grim Hex. For the legal side of things, when you are confiscating that contraband, you are going to be taking them back to the Lower Earth Orbit Station for that security company and selling it to their admin office. Man, we have actually put. Man, I'm man, I'm really excited about Jump Town Two. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. It's uh, it's actually a big thing. You know, in addition to Xeno Threat, in addition to, um, the uh, there's another dynamic event that that was put in. I think last patch. Um, now we have Jump Town Two, which is going to be awesome. So throughout the week, hopefully they will give us um. Uh, notice ahead of time when when it's actually going to go active um that way orgs can mobilize and and prepare for the on the the war that's going to take place at these various locations so it's going to be very interesting but i'm really excited about um getting together with the org and organizing how we're going to do this and to try to take advantage of the um how lucrative this this uh this opportunity will be for us so um i'm really excited about it man we got to I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all out war out there for real. Um, it's gonna be good opportunity for ship combat, atmospheric combat. Um, which I, I don't remember the last time I had a, um, I did some combat in atmosphere. It was awesome. So, also on foot combat, all of this are all gonna be combined. People are gonna have the use for the A two to just wipe out the whole area. It's gonna be man. You, you, there's gonna be purposes for tanks. There's gonna be purposes for um the spartan all those all these vehicles can be utilized with jump town right xeno threat is just ships right the other one the i forget the other the name of it you guys if you guys know you guys let me know um but it's just ships but this jump town it's ships land vehicles hover bikes um on foot everything everything is going to be all in one in a concentrated area and it's going to be strictly PvP. And it's going to be um, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be intense. It's going to be fun. Um, it's a good opportunity to, to make some money. And also a good opportunity to work with your friends and um, fight other orgs. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. The Nine Tails. The Nine Tails. Thank you, uh, Abyss. Yeah, man. So I'm really excited about it, man. I'm liking how this is sounding so far. I'm really excited that they're supporting Jump Town too, for sure. 100% put in some new tech that makes that while you are contracted for that security company, any police that pull you over will see that you have this contraband, but also that you have a temporary license for carrying it because you have been deputized. And so they will tell you to just go on your way. Attention, please come to an immediate halt and hold for your vessel to be scanned. All right, everything 
Everything checks out. Feel free to go. Another is that we added the ability for the shop. Hold on, man. This is this is funny, man. Who named themselves Oprah for the Winfrey? Who did this? <laughs> Oprah for the Winfrey uh CIG. <laughs> man, that's a unique name, man. <laughs> Oprah for the Winfrey CIG. They think we wouldn't catch you. We caught it, man. That's an interesting name. I don't know if you guys got it. Did you guys catch it? Another is that <laughs> we added the ability for the shops where you can sell these things to be modified during it so that uh, you won't be running out of inventory anytime soon during a uh, fire sale like this. The general flow of the mission is as follows. You will see a notification popping up in informing you that you have a mission available. When you accept that mission, you will receive two markers. One marker will be pointing you to a location where you can sell the drugs. The other marker will be pointing you to a drug lab where those drugs are being automatically produced every X amount of seconds. It's worth noting that you don't need to have a mission in order to uh, interface with this event. It's just that these markers are the benefit of accepting the mission. During that time, everyone else on the server is also aware of this high value location, and it is very likely that they will be landing and contesting you doing so. Since the original Jump Town, there have, of course, been a bunch of changes to the Persistent Universe sandbox. We have tanks, we have ballistas, we have ground vehicles galore. We also have a whole bunch more dropships and, and varieties of ways to assault these drug labs. And as a result of that, we wanted to do a bit of an update to the gameplay spaces that they provided. Jump Town 2 is set to release with 3.16.0. We're going to be running it on a schedule during winter break. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing you all get to kill each other and steal a whole bunch of drugs during this, uh, and we hope that you have a great time with this little callback to a great moment in Star Citizen history. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that there's a new... Awesome, man. <laughs> man, um, I'm really excited about it, to be quite honest. This is one of the things that is going to make Star Citizen a fantastic game to play. These, these little dynamic events that are going to be popping out here and there. A little bit of Xeno Threat, a little bit of Nine Tails, and a little bit of uh, Jump Town 2. Every now and then just spices things up. It gets people out there. It gets people an opportunity to, you know, um, get together with others to do some combat instead of just NPCs, but actual real players. Um, Star Citizen is starting to, starting to slowly become um, Escape from Tarkov in space. So it's going to be a lot more, um, the combats are definitely going to be a lot more intense, especially when you have good, good armor on you, good weapons on you. You don't want to lose it. It's going to be really interesting. I'm really excited about it. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video as well. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one.